Hey, hello, hi, welcome to Monster Train. Uh, it's definitely going to get uploaded a little late today. Sorry about that. If my estimation is probably around 11.30 p.m. But hey, it went, it went up today, so you, you can't be too mad. Uh, you know, my, it's, it is my bad. Sorry about that. Uh, overslept a little bit. Didn't have quite enough time to record before I had to go to work. So, uh, oops. Uh, but hey, we're here. We're here. We're making the video. Let's get right in there. Let's play a little train. And I'm thinking, I talked about it the other day. I asked people about it. I'm thinking to make up for it. No promises because I might not be able to figure out how to get it to work. But I do want to try to do maybe a YouTube stream tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe a little Super Auto Pets. Maybe a little Monster Train if everyone hates Super Auto Pets. I want to see how it goes. I want to take a little, little, little dip my toes. So again, no promises. But I'm going to do my best to try to do uh a live stream and it'll be happening at let's shoot for let's shoot for 6 p.m or let's shoot you know let's shoot for 6 30 p.m so if you're watching this video at the time that it's being uploaded check the channel out maybe maybe there's a live stream i have no idea how the youtube live streams work in regards to where they're displayed like on a channel I have no idea it's entirely uncharted waters but we'll we'll give it a shot we'll see how it goes uh, I want to, I want to see what happens. Uh, so yeah. The end. Let's, let's play train without further ado. I gotta get, I gotta get this video uploaded. So we gotta, I'm recording this at 8 PM. The day is being uploaded and my, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get it on the YouTube at, at 1130. We gotta, we gotta play this one quick here. We are, oh no, we are Umbra melting. Hey, we got molded in the deck. I'm kind of thinking maybe we go with architect pen Umbra, maybe kill it so we can get extra space on the floor. Do something, do something a little wacky and wild. Maybe go, uh, Hallowed Halls, Hallowed Halls Architect. Could be pretty cool. We'll see what happens. We got to see Hallowed Halls though, obviously for that to work, but you know, just be good, honestly. Mark of a Champion and Chain of Gems, both pretty solid if you want to go with like a monstrous path here. I haven't, I haven't played monstrous Penumbra in such a long time. And it works if we go Architect as well. Let's take, let's take Mark of a Champion here. And we we don't even see architect. We get monstrous or glutton. We're doing it, baby. We're going. We're going all in on monstrous penumbra today. Wild. This this is really, in all honesty, this is an early game strategy. This does not really work, in my opinion, too well into the late game. We're this is very strong now, and we'll see how long it stays strong. But we need to find something a little bit more potent for the late game. And I'm thinking we got merchant of steel uh, umber banner here. We 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 have a we have uh, antumbra assaults right. We can try a morsel strategy out here. We just gotta, you know, go prioritize relics here. Try to find uh, one of the one of the top floor enablers. Then basically, we gotta find uh, b -b 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 wing technology. Uh, maybe you can get by with hammered hammered chest plates or something like that. We'll we'll see what we can find. But um, we're skipping the divine boon. I think. Oh, actually, we're really pretty strong. Really pretty strong in the early game. Actually, with that with that monstrous mark of a champion. I think we can take it. Them having extra armor. Hold on, let's do the math here, right? That's 60 attack. You have 50 health. We need to give him literally one attack buff, one morsel buff or anything, and then Penumbra makes it through, so... Uh, and kills the foot soldier. So I think we can take the trial here. If I've done the math right. And if they're not enhanced. If they're enhanced, everything's fucked. Um, we will, though, do something a little sneaky here. Kill you. Ooh, and then we get... Uh, debatably, maybe Morsel Jeweler would be better here for the damage shield, but uh, fuck it. Never mind. We're fine. This is cool. Um, can we get a better Morsel, maybe? I consider this a better Morsel. Um, and we can do... Well... We can do this for extra energy next turn. He does probably die to the, the the archer here. Oh, we get a we get a hit. Not that it matters too much. We do get a singular hit, and then he gets healed. Uh, that's fine. Maybe should have played the other drag. I don't know how much is gonna matter here. 
What do we got? What do we got? Oh, give me, give me the magma, boy. We can play this top floor. And we're just chilling. Hmm. You know, whatever. You know what? Classic moves. <laughs> Kill our own dreads with Antumbra to enable more morsels. You love to see it. Um, do we chump here? Let's see. Hit. Hit. Burns out. Hit. Still dies either way. Although we can do double. Or we can do... We can either way. Yeah, this is fine. Either way there. Um, great. Perfect. You love to see it. We have anything we even want to reform that's better? No, it's just a bunch of shitty units. Give me, give me a good morsel. Again, not that it really matters, but like makes me feel better when our units die without taking much damage. Okay. A pretty aggressive start here, taking the first boon and taking the first trial, and we're getting that with no damage is pretty nice to see. Okay. Here's the question, and actually, I already have the answer. The answer is no. The question is, do we try to do Ember Drain strats? The reason why the answer here is no is because we are against Seraph the Diligent, and Seraph the Diligent is kind of a hard counter to Ember Drain strategies here because if, you're, if your goal is to hold over Perils of Production so you always have energy to negate your Ember Drain, uh, I got a little news flash for you here. So Seraph the Diligent fucks that whole thing up because if your first spell you're playing every turn is Perils, you lose the Perils and everything goes to shit. I'll take engine upgrade here. Early engine upgrade feels pretty good. Um, weird, weird turn here. Uh, like entombed, it it does kind of fit in here with the trample, right? If we're just you know putting damage down on the floor, I, like I was I was thinking to myself before with the perils, right? It would be really cool if we didn't have, if we had like Seraph the Temperin or something. Because then we can go Ember Drain strats and we could try to just funnel all of the stats onto Penumbra. And Penumbra with Trample, as long as his attack is high enough, would just win. But um, I don't think we can do that here. I think this is secretly a really important choice for us. And I don't know what the right choice is. I do want to go Merchant of Steel here, but we could go Merchant of Steel here later and do a Burnout strat. Play Penumbra on like bottom floor or middle floor by itself and not worry about things and set up like a like a a burnout strategy, which I kind of like. If that's the case, I think we take Hallow Drippings here. Although uh, we can do Wicklash as well. Holdover Wicklash is really good with like a paraffin, a paraffin uh, enforcer here. It's really tough. You know what? I'll go. I'll go right side here. I think now. If that's the plan, we can look for Holdover on Wicklash, go right side to the Merchant of Magic and Remnant Banner, and then go Merchant of Seal Remnant Banner again. That looks pretty good to me, I think. Ooh, we do get we do get the big sludgy. Like how do you how do you skip big sludgy here? Come on. So less less uh wick burnout focused, more harvest focused, which we can do. We have the dregs, we have morsels, we can just chump block with those. And fuel the big sludge. Play Penumbra bottom floor, basically. I think this works out more or less pretty well. I think I still want to go to the Remnant Banner side here. Maybe we can find, I don't know, Wickless Baron to infuse onto it or something like that. We'll see. What do we got going on down here? Okay, we got the Holdover. In the Remnant Banner, we do get the Wickless Baron. Okay, okay. What's in the temple here? Extreme stone. Not not feeling that really. It's not the worst in the world, but I think we do the infusion here. I think we go we go pretty hard in the paint. And the question is who who goes into who? Right? Wickless Baron. It's it's a classic, right? Big Sludge has better base stats, but it also costs two. A and the Wickless Baron Infusion is less scaling, so I think it's a pretty safe pick, for me at least, to put the Big Sludge into the Wickless Baron. It's, again, lower base stats to start with, but not by a huge amount, and then the scaling is equivalent on the Infusion, as opposed to Wickless Baron, where the the, uh, the scaling is less. Now, I wish I had taken that... Uh, 
that entombed explosive. That'd be pretty nice here, honestly. But what are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do. Maybe something different. But this this overall feels pretty good. But I don't know. Things could still go wrong. We're, we're very strong in the early game here for sure. Like this is still a really good unit, right? And then this guy is gonna just fuck shit up basically for a, for a good a good while here at least. Let's take a really risky like damage trial or something. But let's let's just not do that. Really, when it comes down to it. We can do reform, uh, we can do reform penumbra here too, actually, which is pretty neat. Especially if we do find architect, right? If we go architect two on penumbra and we go reform strats, if we can like cannibalize it as well, we can make a giant floor with, you know, big baron and we can do some pretty cool stuff. So I think, I think I like the holdover molded here. And I think we might just want to make it zero costed. I don't think we need this intrinsic. I, I think we can we can get through the deck fast enough. I think that's fine the way it is there. Power stone here is good. And train sewers aren't that bad right now. I don't think it's worth the money to get rid of them. Um, we can use them for chump blockers, which also fuels our big sludge. So makes sense for now. They're the worst chump blockers we have, but they are chump blockers. Also, these rat bastards. I, I go into the Discord, and I apologize for how late the upload's gonna be, right? Because I just got back from work, and they're in here doing Amogus a memes. Can you believe this shit? It's horrible. It's a travesty. Uh, anyway. Call me freaking sus. Spikes 3 seems manageable here. Honestly, it kills our, it kills our, uh, our boy faster, which is not even that bad of a thing right now for us. Okay, this is this is easy. You do this, put this down, do that. You do a quick murder. It fuels it. Put these up here. God, remember remember back in the old days when morsels triggered harvest? What a world we live in now. Honestly, this is a better world, but it was great. It was very cool and fun. But uh, you know. Things change. Um, let's put this here. Let's take a hit for Penumbra, basically. We could move you down for fun. It doesn't seem that good, though. Okay, there's Molded. Hold on. You're sweeping, so we can't even kill you either way. This does get a hit, though. Might be relevant. Let's see. Wish we had uh, our held over molded here, but whatever, no big deal. You're hitting for 25. You gain 5 rage when something dies. That's 10 attack. If we put the dragon in front, you don't quite get the kill, unfortunately. Not gonna change anything, so you might as well. Well, again, Shade Splitter as well. Doesn't change anything. Put this here though. Penumbra gets a 60 in real quick. I'll do it like this for now. Why is it? Wait, why is it? Th oh, because I forgot about the harvest too. Okay, it's closed, sir. But again, I'm a dumbass. We had room for two. I'm an actual idiot. I don't look at me. I'm so dumb. If we played the drag on top floor. Wickless Baron would kill the Forge Disciple. Don't look at me. Shame. This hand sucks. <laughs> um. Let's do this. For now. Get two more curses. How are we doing top floor here, huh? Let's get a dragon here, I guess, I suppose. Does that win? It does win extremely just barely, though, but it does win. 
And again, I'm, I am a... Although, we, we, you know what? Maybe that play was correct. Maybe we needed that 60 damage to actually get the win here, because that was a pretty close combat. Maybe maybe I actually accidentally made the correct move. Um, with Seraph the Diligent, I like a Prismal Dust here. You know, it already consumes. Not that we can play many spells afterwards, but you get the idea there, hopefully. Um... And like the, again, we're just, you know, we really should not play Ember Drain into uh, Seraph the Diligent, so this is fine for now. Molten Encasement in a Harvest Run makes a lot of sense here to me. Stealth up our boy, especially for the early rounds of combat, should be pretty solid. I'd like to see it. Um, And I do like going right side here. We need, you know, multi-strikes on the Baron. We need holdover, or not, we need endless burnout on molten encasement, and then we're pretty much good to go. We may be even, you know, I I wouldn't be shocked if we can. Well, two things: we can either do architect, right? We can do architect two, monstrous one, and then try to like play it and kill it on the floor to make room. A little, honestly, if we're being if we're being realistic, it's a little bit of an unrealistic game plan here, especially because we don't have cannibalize, and there's you know no guarantee we'll see it. Um. We could also just take double size upgrade, play two Wickless Barons, or Wickless Sludges, I guess, and then try to play one Molten Encasement. The issue with that is that I think our scaling will be too slow. If we have six of our space being occupied by uh, Sludgy Boys, we're just not going to have enough units on the floor to die. Like, enough of our own units to die is what I mean to say here. And I don't think our scaling will be fast enough. Even if we have like double multi-strike. So I think we're probably going to go double multi-strike and just have a lot of molten encasements. Is kind of how I'm seeing this one go. Hopefully combined with Trample Penumbra will be enough. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how things go. Large stone. Horrible. Not good. Thinking, I'm thinking, right? We can make it work with... I think if we go double space, I think we can make Wickless Baron work here, right? Um, although, maybe we can go Trample Penumbra and Enforcer somehow, being reformed several times. That does not seem good either. Thinking about it in my head, seems bad. Um, I think we can go double space upgrade and play the Sludge Baron, and then just a normal Baron. I think that'll actually work pretty well together. Because two space is enough space, if you ask me. With that strategy in mind. It, it, we are going to need a lot of multi-strike for this to work. But I like it for now, at least. Um, let's roll. These are all bad. Let's roll this. Okay. This is important. Molten Encasement, Wick, Wickstone, very important for us. We don't need to self-infuse the encasement here. We really just need one. And that's enough. that should be enough stealth for like the rest of the game, basically. Our damage output here is going to be pretty low. And we don't have enough space to play these both together. So the big mental note I have to make is to not play this Baron thinking it's this Baron. This is the correct Baron. This is the incorrect Baron. Important to note for the future. Um, what's in our cavern? You got a, you got a times five for me here, bud? What's up? Oh, we have the locks. Uh, our health is really low here. And like five health for 25 at this point in the game is just kind of not worth it. I can, see us, I can see us losing by that margin, so let's not do that. And I don't feel like we need a bunch of money, especially because next floor has no shops. There's just not, it, there's like, you know, there's things, but none of them are things we can spend money at. So I'm not super tempted to take this Divine Boon here. I guess see us, I guess see us going Hellvent. Duping and self-infusing the Baron right now, right? Like, look at that, right? We go here, left side, take some money, dupe, self-infuse, fuck the Umbra Banner. That looks pretty good to me, all things considered, honestly. Yeah, I like it. It will put us over 50 shards, which is a little scary, but with the size upgrade we're about to get from Daedalus here, I feel fairly safe. What I don't like seeing, though, is double bombs here, because double bombs could fuck us over. Our, our, our boy only has, you know, 15 health to start with. Have to have a little bit more, but not a ton more. One bomb top floor could fuck this all up, basically. 
Okay. We survive, but not by much. This comes here. Although, actually, we can do this, too. Um, start fueling that. It's pretty good to me. In for a little extra damage there with the morsels. Okay, uh, Penumbra's dead. Rest in peace, bud. This guy's doing great, though. He's having a good time. Honestly, I think we can engine upgrade down here, too. We're not a very energy-intensive deck, I'm realizing. We don't need that much. We will play Penumbra again, though. And hopefully we get a combat morsel here. No. Questionable decision here, but um, it does work. I think. One, two, four, six. If you, if you see it coming, please, please predict now what's gonna happen here. <laughs> We're doing this. These guys all burn out. I think Wickless Baron gets the morsel here still, and we can still play units on this floor right now, which is nice. I don't know who actually ate the morsel. Who did it? Oh, this is not great. However... 10, 20, 30... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, we'll do this first. Yeah, this is this is this one's actually really scrappy, which is kind of fun. This Wickless Baron wins it though, so it's fine. We're all we're all good in the hood here. Um Let's get my man Wickless Baron in. Um Hoping that would kill you, but you know what? I guess fuck me. And yeah, he's got it. He's got he's got it figured out. In case you prismal dust, it's all good. And you get you get you get big penumbra in here for one last rodeo. Cool. Okay. Again, extremely scrapping, but it is working. Furnace tap? That can't work, right? That can't be good. I I I think Wickless recruitment is worth considering, and hear me out. We may have turns where we want to like reform back one of our barons because they died. We could reform back and then hit it with the recruitment, like we permafrost this, and it'll not burn out. Like we don't have really I mean we have some we have Wicklash, I suppose. But we don't really have actual burnout extension. I think this is actually pretty solid in this deck right now. Trout Spike is okay, but not great. Furnace Tap is a meme here. Furn Furnace Tapping our Monstrous Penumbra would be hilarious though, but I think we go Wickless Recruitment. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, um. Like this is hilarious, but for the same reason mentioned before, we we kind of I don't I don't th I don't think we can do double Baron or double Sludge. I mean, I don't think we can do double double Wickless Sludge. I think it's just not enough space on the floor. Um, so we will take this Baron, which will allow us to use a duplication on something else instead. And again, definitely size upgrade. We need size for the Penumbra as well. Actually, keep in mind he does get bigger the more monstrous we make him right now. So there is that. Um, with that in mind, I think we still go left side because I think duping the Molten Encasement here is a very strong play. We only have room for one on the floor, but it's a matter of redundancy. We need to make sure we hit this quickly so we can start reliably harvesting and gathering uh, stealth as quickly as possible. So to have two of them, I think is a pretty good play here. Um, we only need one, but two would be better. Uh, and ultimately, if we go double size upgrade, we will want to play play two a turn. Um, we also get some money, which is nice. Right side removals and artifact are pretty solid here. 
The banner is worth 25 gold. Let's be real about it. But yeah, I like this. I just realized too, because this is not self-infused, we're not even gaining shards for taking this too, which is nice. We're gonna go here though, for sure. And we're gonna do Baron of the Baron now. So this is the this is the tank, and the other Baron is the is the DPS now. We will dupe encasement. And I'm just realizing it now too. We're probably not gonna be able to put permafrost on this uh, wickless recruitment or wickless wickless. What is it called? Yeah, wickless recruitment. Because we're gonna be so focused on finding unit upgrades for these barons, we're not really gonna have time to uh, find permafrost for this. If we, if we, let's let's see. Hold on. Trinket, no shop, steel magic, steel magic, steel magic. Yeah, we're gonna go to all these steel shops basically. So we're not going to be able to put permafrost on this unless we get like really good upgrades right away. Maybe we'll consider doing something differently. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. There's the architect. I think it's genuinely worth considering. Oh, it goes, it goes to three space. So it only takes up one space. Actually, you know what? Call me crazy. I really like this actually, I think with the... Uh, with the double Baron play. This is something I've never done before, right? Harvesting, getting more size so we can play more units on the floor. But we've got all these dregs and I don't think we're going to remove them anytime soon. We can get some value out of them by just, just by just throwing them away, basically. And we use Archetype Penumbra to get more space to do it. I like it. I think it's a, I think it, I think it can work. We don't even really need Cannibalize because it will die pretty quickly. Cannibalize would be nice, but we'll see what happens. Even if we just give it like Burnout 1. We, we, we play it bottom floor, let it die, give it burnout one, put it on the floor, it goes away. Like, that's pretty sick, I feel like. That should work. Um, value stone? You could put it on dust, but I don't like it here that much. It puts us really high on shards. I don't want to do. Heaven seal. Um, let's not. Let's just not. We don't have a great way to kill these heavies. Like, we, end sentence right there. So, no. Okay, this is this is this is Sludge uh, Baron. One of the nice things about recruitment here in our opening hand. Ember Drain be gone. Um, I'll put this here. It'll burn out next turn, which is fine for me. So much dang space now, dude. What the heck? This is tank. And Penumbra does die, which is a good thing for what we're doing right now. We do kind of want it to die. Because then... God damn it! It would have been so cool if we drew the if we drew the uh, reform this turn. Bastard game. Um, I will play or hopefully get a morsel here. That has three health, so fuck me. Whatever, we'll we'll just play it here, I guess. Yeah, we, I wanted to die to get these boys bigger. Okay, not too much damage to Pyre. Yo, can I can I please get my moldeds? This is kind of BS game. Uh, what's the deal? I'm taking so much freaking damage, dude. Okay, it's co it's coming this turn. See, there you go, there you go. You get the penumbra. I've now just realized there's no room on the floor for penumbra, even though it's like, oh, god damn it. Okay, well, go here, I guess. Kill you. Get some extra harvest. Okay, we're not like straight up dead, but this is really not going well. Oh, Penumbra doesn't hit. My whole plan my whole plan was bad actually, I've now realized. Because it does initially take up four space. Yeah, we lose. Wow, okay. That sucked. I really see... I see no way out of this. Damn. 
I had these big fantasies of doing really cool shit, and it died. <laughs> you, well, maybe we can maybe we can do some shenanigans here. Oh, you know what we can do? Okay, I got I got I got plans actually now. I got I got some I got some ideas. Boom, there you go. That's that's the that's the actual play. This is how we do this one. Th th this is the correct way to play this now, I've just realized because now we actually have it like room for it. It dies this turn. We put Wickless Bear in the top floor. And we gotta navigate this man to the top floor somehow too, via killing it, reforming it, and then playing Wickless Recruit on it. But maybe that'll happen. <laughs> Somehow. We'll see. Penumbra, honestly, I want you to die. This goes here. So fucked up, man. Okay. It's kind of funny. I don't think there's any way f through this for us here. The cur too many curses. We're not drawing the reforms fast enough. He's alive, that's cool. You're still dead down here, that's, that sucks. Okay, you reform Penumbra. Play a top floor. He does kill the Clip Guardian, which is pretty tight. Oh, let me kill you here! Okay. We're hanging in, we're hanging in. Play Penumbra again. You play this here so it gets murdered. Penumbra stealing harvest, but what or stealing uh, uh, gorges, but whatever. It's fine, it's cool. I'm gonna put this here. Um. I'll get this piece of shit in here. Play it, and then it burns out, thus fueling the Wickless Baron even more. It's genius. You give the Wicklash. Here, I guess? This can't work, right? It has to be, like, really bad. But that's fucking absurd. Okay, we live. Through a, through a miracle, this worked. This was the line. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me anything, honestly. Don't even talk to me. Um. Do you take Void Binding for the damage here? I don't know, man. This whole thing seems fucked. I think you take Gravel for the Morsel Generation so you can jump block and harvest more. Remnant Host is something. Remnant Host is more harvest. I think we gotta take it here, basically. We're so fucked, man. <laughs> Um, what do you like here? What do you like? Me personally, I think I like going left and looking for maybe some sort of broken relic that saves us. I don't know what relic will save us here. I feel like it's just fucked. Um, we'll see what happens.
Okay, with how that went, I kind of want to take Fade's first blade. It's kind of like giving us maybe some some burnout. Um, we could go Life Steal though to make uh, Penumbra live longer. Although that's kind of bad for us. We kind of need Penumbra to die. I feel like. Um, what else is going on here? We have a Divine Horde. Let's not fuck around. How much rage will this realistically give us? Not that much, if I'm being honest. Maybe just reroll. The fuck, man. So, Pyrestone housing is good, but it does not help in the immediate, and I think we need immediate help. Hell's Banner is more energy, but that's, like, not the issue either, I feel like. I feel like the issue is just pure scaling, which we don't... None of these do. Um... I kind of want to take Pyrewall because it is basically 15 health for this upcoming combat. I think we need to go as short-term survival as possible here, basically. And this is the best in regards to short-term survival. Uh, Sweeper, pretty low damage, honestly. Maybe we can get through this too. Spikes will be more damage to our Pyre as things leak, so we'll skip that, even though it could, in theory, help us kill our own units. Um... Let's think here. Let's think. I think we go bottom floor again, man. It's real whack. And this is nice too, actually, because this man's going to harvest these. Thus, thus generating more damage for us. Okay, well, fuck you, by the way. Um... Let's get this one up on the top floor. This drag's gonna burn out too at some point. Also, you just put this here in case he doesn't die anytime soon. Exactly. Okay, Wickless Baron gets the pick here. This fucker's getting so much health back, what the hell? We're just chipping. We're just chipping as much as we can here against this man. We got a sweeper here, too. He's hitting for six. No matter where we play, he's killing us. You gain two rage, you gain two rage. I'll take. I'll accept this rage, actually, up here. I think this is less detrimental rage for us to, to acquire. I guess we can take all the rage, actually. Works out well enough, I think. The number here is not the best reform, because our top floor is getting a lot of damage through here. I think we do it like this. Oh, this isn't the sweeper. What am I doing, man? Yeah, it's not a sweep. Put this here. Okay, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Let's see. What can I reform here that'll help? I guess we do this. One oh five, and he's gonna hit like a fucking dump truck when he makes it to the top floor here. But he's not gonna kill us. So there is that. This guy a damage shield, which will help for the relentless. Okay, ten health remaining. Trample penumbra only lasts a single turn, but like I don't know, whatever. You can't fit him up here. Everything is so unbelievably fucked, man. We do get the stealth top floor. And to kill pick off the quill marks when we can just play a dreg behind here. So we're good. We just chump. You chump like that. 
these guys all come in, you take off one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, like eight turns? That's actually pretty solid as far as, as stealth removal here. We're gonna survive this combat. And, and would you look at that pyre wall genius play? We needed that help to live here. There you, there you have it, folks. Give me the wickless boy. I don't put that here for fun. Then... Yep, just... Slap him down, pass the turn. Okay. We're, we're, we're surviving. Extension's kind of tempting here, I think, actually. You know what? I'm gonna grab it. I feel like we could use a little bit more space still for this to work. Also, I accidentally unplugged my headset. Oh, God. Please come back, sound. Audio. There we go. Okay, cool. Um... Entrapment, I feel like, can't be right. But also, I just have no clue what else to do here on this run. Maybe a Subsuming Blade. Maybe a Subsuming Blade to kill our own units here. Maybe Fatal Melting to kill back. I actually got- we're, we're, a lot of our own units are dying here. We're harvesting a lot. Let's say Fatal Melting. Maybe it'll save us. You know, first time for everything, but let's go. Can't take the Pyromains. We gotta find, like, Multi-Strike or something, man. I don't know. We need to, we need something for these, these boys. So let's go here. Let's remove... I would say Train Stewards are what we want gone right now. I think that's a safe pickup for us to, to remove cards. Uh, Merchant of Steel, please. Please stop giving me large stone, man. At this point, I'll put Battle Stone on this this Baron here. This one's for Calric, buddy. Roll it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's all good. Fatal Melting's got our back here. The Piercing Melting. We're good. We're fine. That's all we needed, baby. Would love a Cannibalize. Love, love the Dark Shard with the Absolver here, but luckily for us, we've got the tech. We've got the Fatal Melting tech here. Um... You gotta play this first, I guess. We don't get the engine upgrade, which is sad, but... You gotta be proactive about this one, I feel like. You can't let these fuckers do whatever they want, basically. Okay. I accept my curse. For the harvest. And then we'll go here. And there. Pass the turn. I'll be honest, this could be a lot worse right now. This could be a lot, a lot worse. You dying, honestly, not a big deal. Uh, expected result, honestly. Um, If we chump, I think it's better. Because you hit for six, and this dies. We take one. Yeah, the Wickless Baron just hits harder. We do it this way, exactly. Getting, of course, Infinity Curses. You do love to see it, and by that I mean fuck this game sometimes. Um, well, you know, it's fine, it's cool, it's good. We get a reform, see? Look at that. Everything's great down here on bottom floor. We're punching through the heavies. Should have played, a bit of a misplay, should have probably played the penumbra behind so the trample would kill you and hit onto the guardian. But you know what? Fuck, fuck this game and fuck that man. I'm just thinking here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. 
if we cave in, we can play Baron behind Penumbra and a Dreg here. I think this is okay, all honestly. Although, let's be real, the Penumbra is going to die, like, really bad. <laughs> Penumbra's gonna get absolutely murked here. How's that look, though? Not look, not looking great. Actually looks horrible. I think we're extremely dead right now. Unless we... Unless... Unless we see, uh... The thing that we don't have, because we already played it once. Okay. You know what? I think this one's over, man. Um. Get in there, Penumbra. Tramples through quite a bit, but does not make it through the Quilled Marksman, so we do lose. Honestly, get me out of here. I gotta, I gotta upload this anyway. This has been a nightmare episode. Kind of funny, but just an absolute nightmare. Uh, we didn't go to many steel shops, but we just didn't have a chance to go to many. Didn't see any multi strikes. Just saw large stone endless Cla classic monster train. Let's be real. Um. And then the Architect Penumbra thing did not play well. Uh, the size upgrade, or the size added to the room never really mattered. And in my dumb idiot brain, I was like, oh, it only takes up one space. It does not only take up one space. It still takes up the original four space. You got to play it with the Barons at first for it to work. It gets into the way. It's just everything's messed up, man. So we're going to wrap it up there. There might be a line here still. So if you want to play this and find the line there, I, you know... Please do so. I'm sure it's actually a really fun run once you get it off the ground, but I, I don't got the time and I don't have the brain capacity to do so. So um, we're going to call it quits there. Thanks for watching. I'll give you the seed. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Ripperoni. Yeah, cave-in also. Not, the horrible cave-in. Um... Here you go. Here's the seed. Outcome lost. You, you hate to see it. We are regular <laughs> regular sizes charity. That, that run was XL. That was not a regular size run by any stretch. Have a good one and uh, goodbye.